Hey everyone, today I'm at KLS Motors in Lancashire as I'm coming down to have a scuffed wheel repaired here at KLS Repairs. Let's have a chat and see how it goes. Hey everyone, so before I have a chat with the owner Stephen here at KLS Motors, I'm just going to add up three images just to show you what the damage looks like on the wheel before we begin the process of repair. Hopefully you can see that scuff in there, that's pretty bad. I have sharpied over it, so it really doesn't show it as bad, but it is absolutely terrible in my opinion. And it's on the bottom half of the wheel there as well. So yeah, let's drop this off and see how it looks when we return. Right, guys, so I'm here at KLS Motors with the owner, Stephen. Hi Stephen, doing? good All to right. meet you today. Right, so I've brought my Tesla Model 3 Performance in for a wheel repair. Um, have you had any of these in before? Yeah, we've had quite a few actually, yeah. Yeah, cool, right. So if I just show you the scuff that I've done, um, which is going sort of around here and around here, would you say that was quite a bad scuff from your experience? Or no, pretty, it's, pretty regular? it's pretty regular, that really. Yeah, awesome. So um, in terms of how you repair a wheel, for my sort of interest in everyone else's, yeah. is it just the edge that you do or do you have to no, do the entire wheel? we do the complete wheel. The wheel's chemically stripped, back to bare aluminium. Yeah. And then uh, shot blasted. Yeah. Washed. Yeah. Then powder coat it primed, coloured, and then powder coat lacquer. Oh, that's brilliant. So, you know, in terms of the sort of areas that I've scuffed yep. say, in, in here where it's a bit yep. sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking at? It's if not it's sort of smooth, you know, it's a bit yeah. sort of divoted. So does that sort of get filled back in? No, or no. does that sort of just Basically get smoothed Basically what we out? do, if they're too deep, they're um, TIG welded. Yeah. Um, and then machined. Yeah. If they're only light, they're just machined. Right, brilliant. And that yeah. takes out the... Uh, the grooves and the gouges. Yeah, so at what point would you say a wheel was too bad? Is it is that like if it gets cracked or something like that, you can't do it? Well, they can be repaired if they're cracked. Right. Um, some of them uh, we've had in, um, have got actually got a piece that's bent back and right. they can be repaired, oh, TIG right. welded. So, yeah. So and then put on the machine and redone. About a couple of days to, to sort of have uh, a wheel to do, done? To do it, well, to do a, it depends how busy we are really. You can do a wheel in a day. Right. But if you've got other work on as well, we tell people, if you're doing a full set of wheels, we tell people for three days. Three days for a full yeah. car, right. And, and sort of what sort of price are people looking at per corner to have, a, um, to have a, an average wheel done? Depends on the wheel, but you're starting at about 65 quid for a painted wheel. That's pretty up to good. like we do uh, Range Rovers and such like. Yeah, they're obviously a lot heavier. Big and wheels, bigger. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, diamond cut wheels start at eighty-five. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Mm. That, yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. Um, it makes it quite affordable for people then, really, well, just, right, just yeah. to look after the car yeah, and, and yeah. not have it going around looking all shabby and that that's sort it, of thing. Yeah. yeah, you get one wheel and then you get another, and your car starts looking a mess, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I didn't want mine looking a mess, so no. I'm sure we'll we'll meet again after this session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of return custom. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you do. Right, so Stephen's kindly invited us in, and we're just going to have a little look around. Hey, doggy. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a wheel straightener. If you get any, get any flat spots or anything, they go on that machine there to be straightened. Um, the buckle, you take out yeah, buckles, buckles and things buckles like that, that off yeah, that yes, machine, yeah? Yeah, wheel straightening machine, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then, uh, obviously that's where they're powder coated. That's some wheels that are ready for powder coating. There. So they've already had all the sort of prep work they, done. They've had all the prep. All they need now is cleaning. Yeah. And then they put in the oven and then they'll be powder coated. That's some that's just been done, some chrome ones. Look at that, you can see the beauty of the finish on that, it's gleaming. That's awesome, yeah. Going to be a happy customer there. Well, they're actually ours. <laughs> they're going on with that. And that's where they, that's the lathe for doing the diamond cutting. Got the Kalari wheel lathe, yeah. So it's sort of like uh, that cutter, on the yeah, top there, you, it's going you, to come down and yeah, that, yeah, your wheels on there, the the and wheel. then that just comes across to the centre, stops, and then goes out again. Yeah, that's cool. Pity we haven't got one to show you, really, but... Oh, that's cool. It's good to get a sort of a behind-the-scenes look at what happens when you get a wheel refurbed. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I have remembered one question I was going to ask you, if that's okay. Go on. Mobile versus a centre like this. Have you got any sort of comments on mobile wheel repair? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and the reason I ask the question is, 
in the owners club when I said because in the owners club it's quite a famous thing to curb these wheels they're yeah. well known for it people yeah. are doing it like daily yeah. you know to the point of like don't bother getting it fixed you're just going to do it again it's yeah. that bad um, so people have talked about sort of a center like this versus mobile and I was getting told don't go mobile because if you go mobile it's handy that someone's going to come to your door but all they're going to do is spray the edge That's right. so you don't get a very good finish basically so, when a mobile, especially with diamond cut wheels, yeah. basically what they do is get a DA sander and just sand the edges yeah. or the spokes. And what that does, it takes the profile off the wheel. So the edges are sharp, you can get dips in it and everything. Yeah. And then what they do is polish it up and then spray a bit of silver paint on edges and then lacquer it. Yeah. It's all right for forecourt selling cars. Yeah. But I wouldn't advise to have it done because if they damage it again and the same it comes to somebody like us and put on a lathe it, they've taken that much material off it takes a long while to get it back right. and some of the wheels you can't redo yeah because they've taken too much material off yeah so I suppose maybe if you've got a cheap car um, dare I say that you don't particularly care about yeah you know it, it's a it's a job just to get you out of a situation yeah, if you right, sell yeah. your car or something like yeah, that but right. if you've got something like a brand new Tesla that's just cost a lot of money and you really do care about bring it somewhere like this get it done properly you know and show, show that you care yeah. about your car and, and the get cost a difference job. there isn't that much cost difference between it you, well actually i had the first thing i did before I, I asked anyone is i got a quote from a mobile guy yeah. in the area yeah. um almost twice the cost of what you've quoted yeah yeah so it's uh it's not cheaper to do no <laughs> and no, the finish it. isn't as good no so i would say to everyone i would recommend if you can take the hit for a couple of days without your car put it into a center like this and just get it done properly yeah so that's it for drop off guys we're going to leave the car with steven here at kls get the wheel done i'm going to come back at the end of tomorrow and i'll show you how it looks after right everyone so it's the next day and i'm back down at kls motors to pick up the tesla model 3 performance and just show you this after you can see now that wheel is completely sorted and in my opinion that's an absolutely perfect color match as well if you look at that against the center cap here you can see how that's an absolutely perfect color match i'm going to sort of show you against the other wheel as well there and that back so sort of get a flavor for the, the full side of the car there Yeah, so I'll just pop over the top of the damage again so you can see the before and the after. And I think that's an absolutely fantastic job. And the car's gleaming as they washed it for me as well. So, fantastic result. And a nice Lamborghini there in the car park too. Yeah, car's looking fantastic. Thank you for that, Stephen. Top job. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Just to show you this as well, guys, if you go into service on your car and look at wheel and tyre, you can see there, 20-inch Uber turbine gum powder. So that's what you need to ask for if you're getting your wheels refurbed. So it's not sonic carbon or anything like that. It's Uber turbine gun powder. So, guys, I'm just going to interject and show you this from home. Just how nice that wheel looks it's beautifully smooth really really happy with that done a great job from what it was to looking brand new again that's brilliant this is a couple of points for you do remember to take your jack pads if you're booking for wheel repair we can't expect these centers to cater for every model of car out there so it's our responsibility buy jack pads carry them in the car and bring them for your wheel refurb appointment secondly look after your wheels get them refurbed it's quite inexpensive to have your wheels refurbed so look after them guys if you're in the northwest of the uk come down to kls fantastic job today they really do take pride in the work they'll look after you and sort you out if you're not in the northwest of the uk look up your local wheel repair center and they'll also sort you out too take it to a professional guys and look after your car
If you found this video at all useful or interesting today, a like would be fantastic and please do consider subscribing to the channel as I have a lot more Tesla content to come. Hope to see you back for the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.